let's look at multiplication involving square roots. For example, let's simplify this expression here. Let's begin by first simplifying these square roots separately. So what is the square root of 20? Well, let's extract all perfect squares here. In other words, 20 is 4 times 5. And then by properties of radicals, this is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, which is equal to 2 times the square root of 5. And what about the square root of 80? This is equal to the square root of 16 times 5, which is equal to, again, by properties of radicals, square root of 16 times square root of 5, or 4 times square root of 5. So let's put these simplifications back into here, which gives us that this is equal to 4 times 2 square root of 5, because we just found that the square root of 20 was 2 square root of 5, and then times the square root of 80. And the square root of 80 we just found to be 4 square root of 5. And now by commutativity, we can regroup this multiplication as 4 times 2 times 4, and then times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, which is equal to 4 times 2 is 8, times 4 is 32. And then square root of 5 times square root of 5 is just 5. Because remember, we have the following property that the square root of a times the square root of b is equal to the square root of a times b for a and b non-negative. So the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 would be square root of 25, or 5. And this is equal to 32 times 5 is 160, which would be our answer. Now we could have began a bit different and just applied this property from the very beginning. In other words, this is equal to 4 times the square root of 20 times 80, which is equal to 4 times the square root of 1600. And if we simplified this, we'd get to the same answer. But 1600 is a pretty big number, so we decided to simplify the smaller radicals first. All right, let's look at another example. Let's simplify this. What we'll do is we'll begin by foiling. That is, this is equal to 5 square root of 3 times 3 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3 times negative 2 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 3 and finally plus 4 square root of 2 times negative 2 square root of 2. which is equal to 5 times 3 is 15, and then times the square root of 3 times 3 are 9, minus 10 times the square root of 6, plus 12 times the square root of 6, and minus 8 times the square root of 4, which is equal to 15 times 3, the square root of 9 is 3, and then minus 10 square root 6, plus 12 square root 6, minus 8 times the square root of 4, which is 2, which gives us 45 minus 10 square root of 6, plus 12 square root 6, minus 16. And now we'll combine these numbers here, as well as the terms with the square root of 6 in them, which gives us 45 minus 16 is 29, 
and then minus 10 square root 6 plus 12 square root 6 is positive 2 square root 6, which would be our answer. And this is how we work with multiplication involving square roots. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.